All right. I know a lot of you guys are looking at that title right now and I go in, what the hell? Why would I want to lose lucidity? What would the benefit of that be? I mean, you've come here to learn how to lucid dream or learn to improve your lucid dreaming skills. Why would you ever want to do the exact opposite and lose lucidity? Well, I think there are a couple of times where you might actually want to do this. So I'm actually going to talk about that and I'm going to use a dream that I had last night as an example of where this might actually be useful sometimes. Now this is just one of those videos where I have a voiceover with game footage in the background so you can choose to watch it or you can tab out to another tab. I do apologize also if the audio quality is a bit lower. Basically I have my fan on full blast and I needed to use the noise cancelling which is why I'm doing this video like this because it is really really hot today. Couple of things before we start. If you're new here or you're not yet subscribed hit that subscribe button. Enable notifications then you'll be up to date when my new videos come out. And if you're interested in getting a great guide to lucid dreaming, now's your chance because I am doing a 50% off discount sale on my lucid dreaming book, the lucid dream book. There'll be a link in the top right hand corner and you can use the code 50 to get 50% off at checkout. That's 50 the word, so F-I-F-T-Y. The sale will only last for a couple of days, so if you do want to get it, make sure you get your hands on it right away. Anyway, so let's get into that dream story that I mentioned. Last night I had this dream that started off as a regular non-lucid dream and as always, dream logic was in play. It was a very weird dream. I had this big house that had like six floors and all of these winding corridors and passageways and tunnels and all sorts. And for some reason I was like playing a prank on my neighbours and like, I can't even remember exactly what the prank was, but I was playing some sort of prank on my neighbours and then I would go into my house and because it had all of these like tunnels and passageways and stuff, I could like sneak out of the other side of the house and make it look like I wasn't the one that was behind the prank. And so, you know, being non-lucid at this point, I was just going along with the dream logic and crawling through some weird passageways in this strange house that was pretty much like a TARDIS inside because these passageways went on for ages and ages and ages and you know they were much bigger than the house looked on the outside. So I was doing this, I was like escaping from the neighbours or whatever and at one point I crawled up through this little vent and I came out the other side and I was in this place that looked like the back rooms. If you're unfamiliar with the back rooms type that in now and have a look at what the back rooms look like. It's sort of this creepy pasta thing where someone took these images of this kind of liminal space of these just endless office rooms that are completely empty. And I was in this space like that and it was a little bit creepy. And that's when lucidity kicked in. I've mentioned this on my channel before, but I basically pretty much never have nightmares now because whenever I get scared or feel like something is creepy or a little bit off or unsettling in a dream, it sort of kicks in the realization that, hey, that's normally not the case in waking life. I'm probably dreaming right now. And either I become lucid or at the very least, I have this instinct that I know that I can just open my eyes to wake up. Now, I didn't open my eyes to wake up. I instead realized that, hey, I'm actually in a dream now. And so I was lucid and I was in this little back rooms area. And it was really cool being in this creepy, endless set of rooms. But then I realized, hey, I actually am no longer scared of it because I know this is just a dream and I can wake myself up at any point. And I thought, wouldn't it be cool if I didn't know this was a dream and I was just exploring with that kind of creepy unsettling feeling that like I'm stuck in the back rooms or whatever. And the good news is, if you ever find yourself in a dream like this, where you actually think it would be beneficial to not know that you're dreaming and to just believe that all of this is real, you can make that happen. Now, sometimes you can slip out of lucidity naturally, but as you get more experience with lucid dreaming, this becomes very unlikely to happen. Typically, once you're lucid in a dream, you're going to be lucid for the rest of that dream once you've got a certain level of experience. So I find that if you want to ensure that you actually lose lucidity, you normally have to go about it in a more active way. And I find that the simplest way to do this is literally just to tell yourself that you're not dreaming. And so I did this. I just repeated to myself that this is real, this is not a dream, this is real, this is not a dream. And then I kept exploring the back rooms and a few moments later, my brain literally just forgot that I was lucid a moment ago and that I was in a dream. And sure enough, I was able to explore with the whole creepy sensation of thinking I was stuck in the back rooms. And it was a lot of fun. It was like being in a horror game times 10. I'll say that much. Now there are some downsides to this and this dream was another great example of this because when you actually lose lucidity you're also sort of handing over control of the dream again so you can't really direct where things go and after some time of exploring the back rooms I suddenly found myself just outside the house just kicking a football around for some reason I'm not sure how my brain came up with the idea of just plopping me out of the back rooms into a field where I'm now kicking a football around but that's what happened so I didn't get to explore them for as long as I would like but yeah 
If you ever find yourself in a dream and you think, hey, you know, suspending disbelief and actually believing I'm here would be a good idea, honestly, just try telling yourself that, hey, this isn't a dream. Now, obviously, do be aware that if you are in some sort of like creepy or scary or unsettling situation and you do this, then it might be scary or unpleasant. But if you're like me and you enjoy horror movies and horror games and stuff like that, then you'll probably find it quite fun. Normally, though, the place where I would use something like this is if, for example, I'm just having some exciting adventure in the dream. You know, I'm on some kind of crazy adventure and going along with the dream story then at times it can be fun to relinquish that knowledge that you are dreaming and go back into believing that all of this is really happening. Because, you know, when you're out there fighting dragons or, I don't know, flying through space on some spaceship, smuggling some kind of weird space chemicals or whatever, then it's fun to completely suspend disbelief, really believe that you're there and not have this knowledge in the back of your mind that, hey, I'm in a dream, none of this is real. And, you know, 10 minutes from now, I'm probably going to wake up. This can also be great if you're someone that likes being the architect of your dreams. If you're someone that likes to choose every little detail about the dream, you want to create your own location from scratch, you want to create your own dream characters, or you want to go to a brand new world of your creation with your own lore and so on. Maybe, you know, you're a writer and you've actually written a novel and you want to go and visit the characters from your novel and the places from your novel in a lucid dream. Well, wouldn't it be cool to actually then lose that lucidity briefly and really believe that you're a character in one of your own worlds? Imagine what that would feel like. Well, you can actually do that, so you don't have to imagine. Give this a try and see how much fun it can be. I'm also curious if any of you guys have any techniques for purposefully losing lucidity or if this is something that you never tried before. Um, but if you do have any other techniques that maybe work better than just telling yourself that this is not a dream repeatedly, then do share them down in the comments below. Anyway, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe and enable all notifications. If you want to support the channel, you can check out the Patreon page where we now have a Discord that every single person on Patreon gets permanent access to. And if you want to keep watching, check out one of the videos on screen. Go watch that and I'll see you there soon. Take care.